On this video, I'm going to show you something that's going to help make it look like you're at home when you travel. Hey everybody, welcome to this Two Cent Tuesday. On this video, I'm going to talk about something that will help you even if you live in a house or if you RV and like to travel. You can also just turn your lights on and off and save you some time. I ordered these Wi-Fi plugs that you can plug anything into and turn it on and off with your phone. They're about, I think I paid $45 and you get four plugs in a pack. And it'll say that you have to have Alexa, but you don't because you can just control them from an app on your phone. So if you have Alexa, they work with it, but if you don't, don't worry, you don't have to get Alexa. I love these plugs because the app on your phone, you can turn the lights on and off as you want individually, or you can also set up a time for them to go on and off. I have mine set up to go on at 4.30 in the morning and go off at 8.30 at night. So every night at 8.30, all the lights go off that I have plugged into this, and then at 4.30 in the morning, all the lights come on. I have all my lamps plugged into these, including these. The app is called Smart Life, and you can just, it'll show you all of the apps, and if they're green, that means that they're on, and if they're not green, that means they're off. You can even, I couldn't get this to work really good, and I don't know if it's just because I don't have real good service coming home, but you can tell it when you drive in the driveway to turn all the lights on, and as you drive out of the driveway, turn all the lights off. It does have that capability. I haven't had a good success with it, but that is something you can set up. Mine would, I would drive out of the driveway, it would turn them off, but when I would pull in the driveway, sometimes it wouldn't turn them on, and I don't know why. But I do have it set up on a timer now so it knows what times to turn them on, and that does work. But you can, at any point, just press a button and turn the lights off. But yeah, but with just a click on my phone, I can turn them back on. And even if you don't set them up on the timer and you are traveling and you want people to think you're home, you can just periodically turn different lamps on and change it around. And it's anything that's plugged to this is you can turn it on. So it wouldn't be necessarily just for lamps. That's just what I use them for. I have eight of them. I ordered two packs and they're all through the house and every lamp that I have is on it. And it can save you some money by having them turn on and off as well. But it is super easy. I'm not going to go in since this is just a two cent Tuesday how to set them up, but they're really easy. You plug them in the wall. You follow the directions. I set them up real quick. You have the app and they'll, you can name all of them different names and change the names in the app. And, and another thing too, it shows that this one is offline because it doesn't have power to it. So like if your power's off at home, you would know it because they would show that they're offline, that you can't control them. Because this one here is showing that it is offline, which it's in my hand because it's not plugged up. Another thing too, what I have done is if you have certain lamps that you all want to turn them on at the same time, I have one that's called Bedtime and Wake Up that I have already set. That's the same ones that I have that go off at four, come on at 4.30 in the morning and go off at 8.30 at night. But I can one press and I can turn all the lamps off with one button and then one click and they all come back on. I wanted to share this with you on my Two Cent Tuesday because it is something that I really have enjoyed. I've had mine probably about six or eight months. And when we travel, turn them on, lamps on and off to make it look like we're here because people see lights turning off and on and they don't know if you're home or not. And you can, like I said, you can manually do it. So you can make it completely random. When I first got him, I was playing with him, turned them on and off and Bill was just like looking around like, what the heck? If you're like me and love lamps, and you want them to turn on and off and not leave them on all the time, but you don't wanna to have to manually go around and turn them all off, then this is totally the way to go. Oh, also, 
I, this is like a bonus tip on this. I use these at Christmas time. I took them off of some of my lamps and I put my Christmas trees on it because I have like five Christmas trees and I every night, you don't want to go around and have to unplug all the Christmas trees or all the Christmas lights. Instead, you could just click a button. I had all my Christmas lights plugged up into these plugs. That way you could turn them on and off. So I thought that was another great way to use them. Well, all right then. Well, that is another Two Cent Tuesday. I hope you are, I should be now doing my series on the RV camper, the remodel of our bedroom. And uh, if you have something that you're interested in, you can go back and watch. If I've already done a video, I'll put it up here. And if not, you need to subscribe so, so you can see our RV bedroom remodel. Welcome to all our new subscribers. Till next time, like and subscribe.